Okay guys, I would like to continue with uh, installation work on my MSIX power motherboard. I need to install CPU block, RAM blocks and connect everything together with the motherboard. Blocks already in place, but um, I still would like to remove this block and see what's um, under it because, as you remember, my original heatsink doesn't seem to have a proper contact with, um, with this chip, so I'm wondering if it was improper assembly or it uh, some sort of um, defect on the heatsink itself, or maybe motherboard has a certain variation so the chip is lower and uh, before I put too much work into the entire system I'd like to make sure that there is a proper contact between the uh, water block and, uh, and the chip itself just for the sake of it so before we start with everything else I'll go through the trouble and uh, remove block one more time well actually it will be first time I'm removing it but before we removed heatsink itself it's only three screws so it will be much trouble and uh, okay so let's see what we had here no. Well, as you can see, there's absolutely no problem at all. It was uh, everything was properly installed, so in a way, it was a waste. But at least uh, I feel a little bit better right now, and um, I'll just reinstall it back, uh, clean it again, and put it quickly in place. I also would like to replace this thermal part because it seems was wasn't really properly squished so I probably will put instead of one millimeter version I'll put 1.5 millimeter to give it a little bit more um, thickness because that definitely not enough I will spare you from watching installation block one more time and just put it on back and after this we can continue with installation of CPU block that I have a Beats Power Summit which was uh, donated to me by Beats Power and uh, I'd like to try it. Well just want to show you a quick close up. I put 1.5 millimeter thermal pod, 11 watts rated and you can see that I put block in place, press it and you can see marks with a supplied one millimeter pad with no marks so no proper contact so that's something that you might want to double check if you use the same kind of block and uh, there's a chance that probably 1.5 millimeter is the right si size of the thermal pad not one millimeter again and uh, if you look at the age of the board for MOSFET blocks, you can see they properly squished, so supplied thermal pad for MOSFET is perfectly fine. Okay, let's put this block on. Here's my thermal paste. There you go. As usual, I expect few posts saying that spreading sucks so while I'm doing that you might just start typing your comments about it and I will meanwhile do what I usually do and put thermal paste in play okay good enough all right Next thing we do is put post posts in place. Pretty 
straightforward operation. And springs. And we put block itself. Well, it's relatively obvious right here that says that you need to remove protective film. You need to remove it, obviously. And um, you might want to give it some small cleaning with microfiber. Okay. Now, which direction we want to go? The question. I'll stick with horizontal orientation. Okay. Oh, actually, that's a noob mistake here. Springs goes. Okay. And we put posts. So easy to do it when uh, you work with motherboard beforehand. Putting block in when the motherboard already mounted on the case, sometimes a little bit awkward, especially when uh, there's a lot of stuff around. So, okay, so now I put the everything so I start feeling the tension and now we want to screw post and cross manner and then also suggests that the post and not supposed to level up when they do it's basically when you want to stop and um, I do it not even already. Okay, a little bit here, a little bit here, and a couple. This can. This one a little bit. All right, that's pretty much it. As you can see, installation of water block is one of the simplest operations. You can go through water cooling project. Now we have this beauty in place. Really like it actually. I don't care that it's like two degrees or less. It's look awesome. Excellent. Better than acetal. Tinted. So I still can put some, I believe, some LEDs in. Actually, I cannot. That's good enough. Nevertheless, as it is. Okay, next step, memory blocks. All right, I spare you from watching installation of eight RAM sticks. But to support it, this box not that sturdy. And you see I have those modules already have some thermal pads on them and heat sinks removed because I reusing it from my silent sniper build which was downgraded with less potent memory at this point. But that's what we do. Just putting them 
in place one by one. And some more of my extreme thermal pod. back and as I have two extra modules I will be applying that right here there's a graph graphite thermal parts which has conductivity rating like 20 or some some ridiculous number um, uh, the only problem they are conductive so but he doesn't matter on those on this particular application Okay, that's better. RAM block installation, even simpler than anything else. Take the block, you put it in place, line up with the holes for screws. And you put screws on. Simple as this. I wish this power made this tinted version for the RAM blocks, but I don't believe they exist. So I'll stick with um, clear type, and that will do. Realistically, I think probably like four screws will be enough. I'm not sure that you need to press every single block, but I'll put all screws in just for the sake of it, so you don't see holes. Other than that, it's, it's elbow grease. Easy, easy. Okay, guys, I would like to give you a final look on a complete assembly we just finished up. So we have two XSPC blocks and three bits power blocks for RAM and CPU. I don't have time this week to go through connections uh, and to be honest with you I'm not quite sure how to do it at this point so I need to uh, sleep on it for, for a couple days and uh, see how to get out of this mess. So the challenge is, is that those two blocks on the lowest level CPU block a little bit higher and those uh, RAM blocks are completely sticking out. So the question is where we're coming from radiator uh, from to which connection and from which connection we're getting off towards um, our graphical card. So um, 
yeah I don't know yet how to make it uh, look good um, definitely will be messy um, I might take a piece of paper and draw different ways and and see what's happening I definitely will be using three um, eighths type of uh, tubing just to make life easier and um, don't ask me how to do it half inch if you want to I believe the space is enough here to go uh, half inch tubing but it might be slightly different from what I will be doing because um, I have basically more room to work with because of the fittings will be smaller and the spacing that I have to deal with will be bigger right so that's it for this week uh, I'd like to thank you everybody who follow up my build and uh, support our store I will come back next week with uh, further update See you soon, guys.